Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rob G. Um, just wanted to give you another update without me doing any exercise or trying to do anything uh, fancy. Just want to have a conversation with you. So uh, today is Sunday, January 6th, and um, had a nice day. I spent some time with my wife. We went out to um, the in-laws house and we had some pasta. Uh, which obviously from a diet standpoint is not a good idea, but um, you know, we definitely limit the portions. Usually I have maybe a cup cup of cooked pasta, not much more than that, with some, uh, she had a couple of turkey meatballs and some uh, salad and a couple pieces of bread. So Sunday is kind of like the cheat day, but I, I don't go overboard per se. Um, so that's what happened today. <clears throat> also, as many of you have uh, seen, I've been really getting into juicing. Um, and what I did this morning is spend a lot of time educating myself on the principles behind juicing. For example, um, you know, I was thinking, okay, let me buy a bunch of vegetables and fruits, mix them together, kind of like a VH shake or something, and make uh, just make it just a weird concoction. Um, but after doing about two hours of research today, I realized, well, it's not that simple because when it comes to juicing, uh, there's a lot of um, issues from a digestion standpoint that you have to be careful with. For example, like the, the recommended way to juice is vegetables with vegetables and fruits with fruits. If you were to take some like citrus fruit and mix it with uh, spinach or other vegetables, um, your your body, your stomach may actually have a hard time uh, digesting it. So that was news for me. I, you know, I didn't really know, and uh, I'm glad I did my research. It's also important uh, to talk to your doctor before you do any juicing because you know, as you know, some fruits can r really raise your blood sugar. Some of you guys out there who are trying to lose weight or diabetic and have to really watch that. So you want to be careful with insulin spikes. Uh, sugar is sugar, um, you know, so even if it's uh, maybe non-refined sugar, it can still affect you in a negative way if you're, if you're not careful. Um, so I really learned a lot. So if I'm going to be juicing, I'm going to really focus on uh, making one type of juice, which is made out of veggies and then the other type of juice which is out of fruit the one uh, consensus there's actually the the consensus as i was uh, going through the different examples and youtube videos is that apple or pear uh, are safe fruits to combine with vegetables because let's just be honest uh, cucumber celery kale and spinach without any kind of sweetness yeah, don't sign me up for that. <laughs> it may sound healthy, but if it tastes like crap, heck no, am I going to juice and do all that. Get out of here with all that. So I wanted to read off some um, different fruits and vegetables um, to kind of give you share some knowledge that I gained today by doing some research. So if you guys were thinking about juicing, you can have some, you know, kind of a starting point to talk to your doctor about before doing anything. Um, for for uh, weight loss, you have fiber. Obviously, we know fiber, what that's good for, and <laughs> you got to keep regular and all that good stuff. Um, fruits and vegetables are great for weight loss. Um, some of the uh, fruits that are, I'm sorry, some of the vegetables that are really good for fiber include leafy greens like collard greens, spinach, Swiss chard, um, and uh, vegetables like Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and cabbage. So if you were going to juice some of those vegetables, um, you know, they have fiber. Now, you have to understand, if you juice, you're taking away a lot of the fibrous material. So you may be getting the nutrients and vitamins, but if you're not eating some of those vegetables whole, then you may not be getting the fiber you need. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Also, we have... Um, the vitamins obviously there's a lot of vitamins uh, vi uh, vegetables that are high in vitamin c and e uh, regulate the uh, fat metabolism good sources of vitamin c include kale parsley broccoli brussels sprouts watercress cauliflower cabbage spinach turnips and asparagus and it's funny you hear vitamin c usually you think oranges and citrus but uh, apparently 
a lot of these vegetables have those uh, the same uh, or even more of the vitamin C and and um, vitamin E. So those are the kind of vitamins that you'll get uh, with those specific vegetables. Um, veggies high in vitamin E include spinach, watercress, asparagus, carrots, and tomatoes. Um, and again, those really help with the fat metabolism. And new studies show that not all produce is created equals when it comes to helping you lose weight. Uh, certain fruits and vegetables contain more nutrients than others. So, so like cabbage, lemons, and grapefruits are good examples. Uh, you know, for the you know re regarding the uh, the weight loss. So, I'm not trying to sit here and act like I'm, I'm an expert and know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm really just sharing some of the knowledge that I've, I've you know I've amassed today to kind of give you guys some ideas so you can do your own research and figure out what works best for you. Uh, minerals are very important. Uh, so, you know, chromium is a trace mineral that regulates the metabolism and that can be found in green peppers, parsnips, spinach, carrots, lettuce, string beans, and cabbage. So that's a list of vegetables that have that um, the, the mineral chromium. Uh, magnesium helps regulate energy and that can be found in spinach, parsley, dandelion greens, garlic, beets, and beet greens, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, and celery. And then zinc is associated with lower fat body levels and those are in uh, zinc is in turnips, parsley, garlic, carrots, spinach, cabbage, lettuce, and cucumbers. Now you'll notice there's some of those uh, vegetables I, re I repeated uh, for, for different reasons. So that's kind of good. So something like carrot and spinach, as you can see, uh, actually has a lot of those minerals and vitamins that can help with your fat loss. So, uh, and so basically ha they have like a lot of multiple uh, purposes. Now um, there are, you know, I highly recommend you go on YouTube as far as getting uh, recipes, you know, for juicing. Um, you know, I, I'm all about keeping it simple. I try to keep things down to a minimum when it comes to, um, you know, making juices. For example, I'm not trying to combine, you know, 12 different ingredients. So today I did kale, spinach, and some apple. Um, I didn't put enough apple, so it was kind of, eh, didn't taste so great. You know, I, I posted a picture on Facebook, but I did feel better afterwards. You know, I said, hmm, I got, I got a lot of this, uh, these green vegetables that I probably wouldn't eat on a, on a typical basis. Uh, so juicing really helps me get in a lot of the vitamins that I'm not getting. Uh, I'm not looking to do a juice fast per se. You know, I know there's, um, you know, uh, what was it? Fat, it was sick, fat, nearly dead. That's like a documentary. You can see it on Hulu. Uh, H-U-L-U dot com and um, that documentary is this gentleman who works with uh, the Breville juicer and he goes on like a 60 day juice fast. He does nothing but drinking juice um, using this machine and he's under doctor's care so he is smart about it um, but by no means am I trying to go on a juice fast. I may go on a detox um, but I'm, I, I may use it to kind of you know substitute some meals here and there uh, but more importantly, I want to make sure I'm getting in those fruits and vegetables. You know, they said there's studies right now that show like less than 8% of Americans get in their daily, you know, vegetable and fruit intake. Uh, so I know for the, you know, I'm a big proponent of nutrition, uh, fixing your ailments. You know, um, it's not just about losing weight. It's about your body functioning properly, about having enough energy. Because that's the thing, when you're really obese... You're trying to lose this weight, but the problem is you're fatigued. You know, you have all this weight on you, and so every day it's like a struggle to get up. And so if you don't have the vitamins uh, and the energy to get moving, um, then it's like a vicious cycle. You don't lose weight. You just sit there. You start the self-loathing. You start feeling bad for yourself. So for those folks out there who are, you know, I've gotten some messages from people that are well over 600, 700 pounds you can't really move right now. Well, 
you know, this might be something to look into. You know, maybe if you're getting more of the vitamins and nutrients, that'll kind of jumpstart your energy to kind of push through the fatigue that you feel every day. And that's what my goal is, is to have more energy, is to um, really just start feeling revitalized so I can do more exercise and, and push through the weight that's still dragging me down. Um, I watched my video, the one I posted yesterday, where I'm doing the... Um, like kind of the agility ladder uh, on the grass and it was just such a wake-up call for me you know it was kind of like just going back and reviewing the tape and just looking at how bad I've gotten you know I was doing so well when I got down to uh, 450 and I was just you know I was rocking and rolling and then you know I had this neck injury and the, my knees I was hurt um, I still have the issue sometimes where I'm off with my equilibrium you know vertigo symptoms and that stuff just really just brought me down. You know, it really got old. And, um, you know, I went to so many doctors and they're still trying to figure it out. I have to schedule a CT scan now, um, you know, just because they figured out I have a, a herniated disc in my neck, but they want more detail. So, you know what, that's okay. The one thing I can control is trying to get as much nutrients and vitamins and nutrition in my body because that's going to prevent things like cancer uh, it's going to help me burn some of the fat, and, when, and it, even if I can't hit the gym as hard as I was at one point. Uh, and that's the focus this year is that, you know what, you know, you can, I can do, you know, all the different exercises I want, but if I kill it by not eating enough or, or I'm not eating well, then there you go. And that's really what, what you know, the big elephant in the room, that's a term that they say, you know, as far as like, you know, really facing the truth is that we got to get right with our diet. If you want to lose this weight, you want to be successful and be motivated. If you just focus on eating small meals five or six times a day, every two to three hours, drinking your water a minimum of a gallon a day, you know, but you got to break it up. I, I bought a 32 ounce bottle. And if you do the math, 32 times four is one, was it one's 128? So for those bottles is a gallon because 128 ounces here in the U.S. is one gallon. So if I do four of those bottles, I'm getting in a gallon a day. So that's how I look at it versus trying to get a gallon jug and guzzle all that water at once. That's not realistic. So anyway, to get back on track, um, you know, I really encourage you guys to just really start spending time to do the research, whether it be juicing or uh, healthy proteins. I mean, the knowledge is out there. Uh, I really like YouTube because I'm a visual person. When I see the videos, it just resonates better with me. So I encourage you guys to start spending time educating yourself first before you start, you know, jumping into any diets. And then second is consult with your doctor because it's all about your blood work. And if you have hypertension, you have diabetes, you know, something may seem innocent, but it could hurt you because you have, there's different foods that affect, you know, those diseases or those, uh, you know, ailments that you have. So that's all I keep saying is make sure you talk to your doctor. Don't assume you know it. Um, I'm just letting you guys know, do your homework and, and consult with your doctors and, and then you'll be successful and you'll be safe. And um, that's, that's all I really have. So I'll keep these updates going. I want to give a shout out to my friend Alicia. Um, Alicia Contreras in Oregon. She is an amazing woman. She gave me a shout out yesterday and uh, thank you guys. I have a lot of new subscribers because of her. Um, so I appreciate Alicia with a shout out and you know we're all in this together and she's so right. You know I'm, I'm the guy that in the past I just stayed quiet when things were going bad but I'm, I did videos when I was feeling good and I'm committed this year to show you much more of the good and bad uh, regardless because that's going to really help you to um, you know get through your tough times when you're not feeling a hundred percent you guys need to know when I'm not feeling a hundred percent and that's what I'm going to do is be much more uh, you know just much more disciplined and vigilant with these YouTube videos so anyway I'll get off my soapbox now I think that's all I have for tonight. I hope the uh, information about juicing you found helpful and insightful. And uh, that's all I have right now. So thank you guys for all your support. And you guys have a wonderful evening. Tomorrow's Monday. Uh, here we go. 
but that's all right. And if you're feeling good, you know, you're, you're getting into your nutrition and you're doing all the right things, it won't be so bad. All right, guys, have a wonderful evening. Take care. Bye-bye.